Okay, so right now the TV is muted. We are, well, the 12th round is over. Um, I'm giving it to Andy Lee, but since we're right here real time live, I'm going to uh, play the decision for you. And basically, it's one of those type of fights where it can go either way. I'm actually interested in seeing the punch stat numbers. But Andy Lee went down in um, round one to a left hook. And then at the very end of, of, of round one, well, okay, he went down in round one at about the 22nd or so mark. And then at the end of round, and then at the end of round one, slightly after the bell rung, he got rocked seriously to the point where it was one of those type of situations where, well, let's listen. I'm T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy live on RealCombatMedia.com. Please subscribe. Okay, I want to see. Okay, here's the decision. Now, I got Andy Lee. I don't know. You know, we're going to find out right now. But either way, Andy Lee still keeps his title because Peter Quillen didn't make weight. will go to your official judges' scorecards. Your first judge, Guido Cavallari, sees the fight 113 to 112. He scores it for Lee. Your second judge, Eric Marlinski, scores the fight 113 to 112, scoring it. For Quillen, mm. your third and final judge at ringside, Glenn Feldman, scores the fight 113 to 113. He has it even. The fight is declared a split draw. You know, put it this way. Wow. I know, I know it's going to be one of those situations where people. Although, <coughs> my feeling was in that final round that. I want to hear from the boxers. So until the boxers get the microphone, I'm going to mute it. So this is not one of those fights. I'm telling you right now, you should be able to watch it because it's national television. Watch it on um, the NBC uh, um, live sports app or watch it on, um, you know, or, on, on the replay. I believe the replays come on on Universal HD. I remember I caught the Robert Guerrero replay on there. Um, okay, well, let's listen. It's not one of those fights where you can argue and say, oh, this person got robbed. Honestly, honestly, it was, it was really too close to call. Here with Peter. First off, what were you and Andy talking about just moments ago after you heard the decision? I actually told him, thank you for the opportunity to fight him. It was a good opportunity to do this here in Brooklyn. <coughs> He's a great champion. Great fighter all around, and I'm just very thankful that I got the great grace to ring with him tonight. Did you agree with the decision? Uh, well, you know, I'm not a judge. I can never... You know, agree with something I don't know. That's not my job. My job is to come in here and fight. And I think the judges have it in the best hand of themselves. Early in this fight, from the first round and the early parts of this fight, you have a couple of knockdowns. Did you think you'd still be going in the 12th round against Lee? I get paid to do 12 rounds. You know, I'm not here just to say that I'm going to take everybody out. I'm here to fight from round one to round 12. And it was up to Andy to Lee to stand in there and take some of the blows I was throwing out. Peter, great fight. Thank you. Thank you again. I appreciate you. Better get Andy Lee. All right, Peter Quillen. So it's really open coming up. Andy Lee is here. Andy, what did you think about the decision? I thought it was a hard fight to score because he had a lot of he had the knockdowns, but I boxed consistently. I thought, especially going down the stretch, which is where it counts. A draw. I, I'm satisfied with a draw. I had to give it honestly to give it to Peter in his hometown. I wouldn't have had a much to argue about, I'll be honest, but I think a draw is a fair decision. Early on, he's going to talk about that in detail. Down a couple of times. How do you keep getting <coughs> to get stronger and knock him down? I never give up. He's going to have to carry me out the stretcher, I think, but, um, you know, you keep fighting. My fighters, that's what we do. He would have done the same. And, um, look. He's a great fighter. We had a good fight. We can do it again. I know you guys aren't matchmakers, but maybe you will do it again. Yeah, I'm happy to. to. We can have a rematch. I've got a title next time. All right. Thank you, Andy. Let's go now. All right, thank you. Um, you know what? And, and it's true. A draw in Brooklyn, New York, the home of Peter Quillen, is technically a win for, for, for Andy Lee. If this was the other way around and Peter Quillen fought Andy Lee over in Ireland... Andy Lee would likely be the winner, and probably by a large, uh, like a large margin, or not a large margin, but an, an um, a margin that that it shouldn't be basically. 
some old 117, 111 type shit. But but in this fight, it's true that I know there's going to be fans saying, oh, Peter Quillen got robbed. Oh, Andy Lee got robbed. No, this was one of those fights. Now, Andy Lee went down in rounds one and round three, if I'm correct. Peter Quillen went down for the first time in his career, of course, by the right hook. Um, it was one of those right hooks that was coming down, too. It came it came down on a downward angle, you know, and it caught him. Um, he went down for the first time in his career in round seven. And pretty much to me, in my personal opinion, he started to respect Andy Lee's power. And Peter Quillen just was not aggressive enough. I didn't like how they didn't show the punch stat numbers. It's stuff like that. I understand PBC is new. You know, but it's stuff like that. It's like, yo, punch stats after every fight. It's like you gotta, you know, you gotta show that type of stuff. Um, overall, I said since Peter Quillen had lost, I mean, since Peter Quillen didn't make weight, and Peter Quillen had dropped his title, he was supposed to, he was supposed to, as, as, as it's called in the hip hop community, whatever it's called, I don't know, he was supposed to turn up. He was supposed to go out there and put a beating, a severe, serious beating. On, on Andy Lee and he didn't do so. Now was the fight not entertaining? See it depends on what kind of boxing fan you are. Me, it's a shame to say I guess. I mean, well no, I'm not ashamed to say it. But I find a lot of boxing, well I find all boxing entertaining to an extent. So I'm gonna leave it up to you guys to like to let me know like if it was a boring fight then not me. To me it was more of a chess match as they say. Um, these guys were figuring each other out. And we had um, multiple moments in, in, in the fight where both fighters were, were down or stunned, you know, so the fact that Andy Lee, as he said, fought consistently, in my opinion, I had him winning by just one, yes, yes, by such a small margin to the point where I'm not going to say, ah, uh, you know, I, I'm fine with the draw. Peter Quillen was supposed to win. He did not. It was a draw, and, and, and you've seen it. Now, if you don't know, he ended up weighing at a 160.6, uh, you know, a little over a 160 and a half. And um, originally, he weighed in at 161.4, but after about 90 minutes or so, he could not get all the way down to 160 pounds, so therefore, the fight became a non-title fight. And fans are saying, oh, there you go, karma. Um, now that he's getting the draw, you know, it's like, well, well, okay, all right, since this fight was a draw, you know, national television you guys had your chance now now Andy Lee has to fight Billy Joe Saunders so it's like where's Peter Quillen going to get a title from now it's just you know it's a crazy 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 situation you know now that I'm looking at it because I'm like okay well who are you going to fight Danny Jacobs and, and what about him fighting at 160 I understand that it was uh what was it you know just a little over a year or if not a year since he fought uh Lucas Jomietny you know, and 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 maybe his next fight he'll have no problems making 160 pounds. But this was, you know, just crazy that won or lost, Andy Lee was still going to keep his belt after Peter Quillen, you know, uh, dropped his belt um, um, by not fighting a guy who he was a favorite and likely to win. This fight, as I said, Peter Quillen was very, very, very timid. You know, um, normally, you know, with Fernando um, uh, Guerrero, I forgot the other guy's name, um... Oh, no, um, Hassan Endam, um, he pretty much went out there and beat those guys up to where, where, where Andy Lee had his respect. Maybe that respect came after Andy Lee got knocked down in the first round and then got up and then took those shots at the end of the first round, you know, and came back out. Maybe. We don't know. But as it stands right now, if you don't know, I am T-Street Controversy. This is T-Street Controversy Live. I cover every single major fight live. Um... I'm enjoying boxing so far. There won't be a Google Hangout tonight. I'm actually going to get some rest, get some things done. You know, I guess you can call this like a little bit of a vacation period. And basically, there's going to be so much more to talk about. But I want to actually see how the situation is going to play out as far as, you know, Billy Joe Saunders now. Get used to the name. Billy Joe Saunders is fighting on um, May the 30th, 2015. We're going to have someone in the building over there in the UK. Uh, Chris Eubank Jr., you may have heard that name. Billy Joe Saunders versus Chris Eubank Jr. was a very big uh, fight, you know, uh, over in the UK. But basically, Billy Joe Saunders is the mandatory, the mandatory for Andy Lee. And that could be a very big fight over um, there amongst the uh, traveler community, but overall, period. So right now, you know, like I said, 
for him to get a draw, even though I had him winning and 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 studying, you know, social media and how people have been um, viewing the fight. A lot of fans had Andy Lee winning the fight, you know. Um, um, and I'm talking about by a very small margin, but also you saw that a lot of fans were confused as far as well. Yeah, this is really, really, really a close fight. So for him to get that draw in Brooklyn. You know, in Brooklyn, you know, on an Al Heyman card is like a win for Andy Lee. And I'll leave it at that. T Street Controversy on Twitter. Links to all my social media are right down below. T Street Controversy at realcombatmedia.com. We're doing a poll for Mayweather versus Pacquiao. It's the second link in the description box. So when you're watching the video on your phone, hit the little section right there. You might, just look at the description box and click realcombatmedia.com. You're going to see a poll for Mayweather versus Pacquiao. T-Street Controversy, T-Street Controversy Live.